hi guys it's your girl and I'm back with another video and I have a confession to make um, I am probably like addicted to shopping and I especially love shopping for perfumes there I said it I am guilty as charged I am I think I am like a shopaholic. This is probably like to placate some sort of um, boredom that's in my life or whatever. Or maybe I just like to really, really smell good. I don't know. But the point of my little confession is that your girl has definitely been shopping. Like shopping, shopping. Like <laughs> shopping, shopping. I don't know if you can see how heavy <laughs> my bag is now you know disclaimer this is not like all in one week this is actually over like the past couple months like i i try to space out my shopping i just didn't haul all of these recently some of it was um a couple were during probably a little bit before thanksgiving um some were in october somewhere in September so really this was like over two months I just haven't brought them out into my collection just yet because I wanted to share them with you guys and I'm also trying to clear space in uh, my closet and my little um, perfume stand or not my perfume stand but my perfume shelf like right here so let me not waste any more time I want to I'm, I'm like really excited to share with you guys what I had recently purchased because I think I found like some really really good finds um and at a pretty at some of them at a pretty good steal some of them I, I bought full price which is okay um some a lot of them I had you know purchased at discounter stores um let me not waste any more time and let me show you a lot of them I have not unwrapped yet because I am familiar with the scent so I don't think I'll be doing so much of an unboxing of sorts because there is quite a lot of perfumes. So I'll just probably just showcase them. I'm probably just going to keep them all in their boxes because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, give me a thumbs up. Comment on any videos that you've just recently hauled and uh, let, let me get started. So the first one that I have is a longtime favorite of mine. Like, I already know how this perfume smells like. I know how much I love it. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. And this is actually a repurchase. This is probably, like, my fourth repurchase um, since I've ever started, you know, buying perfumes and I've had the money to buy perfumes. And this is Burberry Brit. Like I told you, like, I haven't even opened it yet. This one I actually just recently repurchased. And I bought the full size because I love, 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 love this scent. This is one of my favorites. I think I got this one at like a Nordstrom Rack. And I got it for $65. Like I said, I I didn't care for spending too much money on it because this is one of my most favorite scents. This is a beautiful, like, fruity vanilla. There's lime in the opening. There's a beautiful almond note in it. Um yeah one of my one of my all-time favorite scents i have gone through bottles of this like full size bottles of this one and i i've always used to sneak little spritz of it from my mother's closet back when i was younger and once i you know got a chance to purchase my own perfumes i'd always you know i, had, I first tested out with a smaller size bottle like ran through that one and I just purchased full size bottles. I had a little travel size roll on that I had kept in my purse a couple times. And I finished that one like several, several, several months ago. So that this is Burberry Brit. And this is the Eau de Parfum. Next one that I purchased um, is actually like a really big favorite of mine. But I finally got the courage to buy it. Um, this is the... Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Charosa 71 and this is the um this is the one that is a true like gourmand I have tried uh Charosa 62 and I love that one but I think I love the 71 more uh, oh my god this one just smells 
so delicious. This smells like, like you want to drink the liquid or eat the liquid. This smells so good. Every time that I would go to a Sephora, I'd ha I have to stop by the uh, Sol de Janeiro aisle, the, the little aisle, and just spray myself. Every single time I would stop by the... <clears throat> I would stop by Sephora and I never like, I don't know what stopped me from purchasing it. I mean, granted, it is like a little expensive for a body mist. I think I purchased this one at full price. I purchased this for like $24. So, you know, it's more expensive than given like your Bath and Body Works type of body sprays. But oh my God, this one was so worth it to me. The amount of times that I tested this over like the span of two, three years when it first came out, I just fell in love. Um, oh, and actually, let me show you another one that I recently purchased, which like was purely by accident. I was at the TJ Maxx um, a couple weeks ago and I found this perfume. This was in one of those like unboxed, uh, the unboxed areas of perfumes where they kind of have like, th this is like one of their more affordable ones. Um, I got this one for $17 and this is the full size 100 ml bottle and it's pistachio and praline. And I think this is from the company, oh God, what company is this from actually? Fragrance Beauty? I'm actually not too sure, but I purchased this one and I also saw uh, this one vanilla potion um and they smell really good but this one really really caught my attention because this smells very very similar to Shirosa 71 like granted it's you know praline and pistachio it's like sweet it's vanilla it's nutty it it smells so delicious so these two very very similar like almost dupes very very almost dupes but um this one does have a better scent quality but i figured you know i had just recently purchased that one and then i smelled this one i'm like oh my god i could just layer the two and like amplify that deliciousness like why would i not want to do that <laughs> so i i had to take it with me and for like 17 dollars for three fluid ounce i figured why not same thing with this one, Vanilla Potion. This one's actually pretty nice. It's a very sweet, airy type of vanilla. And this one's really, it, it's cute. I like this one a lot, but this one was my favorite. Um, the next one that I had purchased, the next one I purchased was this little gift set by Yves Saint Laurent. And it is Mont Paris. So look how cute it is. Oh, the little ribbon came up. But this is the Mont Paris. Comes with the one fluid ounce and a little like travel size purse spray. Um, and I got this one for like I think fifty or sixty dollars at the Nordstrom rack. And this is very, very, very pretty. It's a very sweet uh, fruit chewy type of scent. And also like this box is gorgeous. I love the design on it. Uh, another one that I had purchased, this was uh, Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir. Now I saw a lot of hype about the Musk Noir Rose. I couldn't find that one anywhere. Um, but this one smells really, really nice. I know I said I wasn't going to be doing any unboxing, but I figured since I had already opened this box to smell it, Look how gorgeous that bottle is. It's beautiful. And the scent is so nice. This is a beautiful, like, sweet, floral. It's almost like a little soapy. There's some freshness and there. it's like a very clean, like, oh my God. This smells so good. This smells like a beautiful, clean woman. It's floral. It's sweet, there's freshness to it, it's light, 
Oh, it's really, really nice. I, f I feel like it's such a shame that not a lot of people are talking about the Musk Noir. It's a very, uh, very simple but very beautiful perfume. Um, I still want to get my nose on the Musk Rose, the Musk Noir Rose. Um, but for now, I will definitely be loving this. It smells so good. Oh my God, this smells so good. Next one I have is a, one that I actually haven't even opened just yet. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce. Um, I actually owned Dolce in the past. I owned like a little travel size and I liked it enough. I think it was a fine scent, but my only issue was that is it, it was in a rollerball form. And I always find that like rollerballs, I can't really get the full experience with the perfume. But I figured I'll try this one again. If not, I might just give it away to my sister because she is a big fan of the Dolce line. Um, she just actually got Dolce Garden. That's one of her favorite ones. And I can see why like a lot of people like Dolce Garden. It is a very, very, very pretty, like light, fresh coconut scent. I was not a fan of Dolce Shine. That one I was not a big fan of. The original Dolce I, I thought was okay. So I'll probably give this one a little whirl. And I had purchased, I think this is the one fluid ounce. I can see. Oh, I apologize. It's 1.6. So this is the 50 ml bottle. This one, and, and for, I purchased this one like a while back. So I can't even return it by now. So, but it doesn't matter because I'm definitely going to use them. This one's nice. This is a beautiful, like, fresh white floral scent. The last time that I remembered, I, I owned it um, over the summer, over the spring and summer. Another one that I had purchased um, is a perfume from a, um, a company that I really like, um, Philosophy. I actually really like a lot of their fragrances. Um, this is the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. And uh, I've already opened it. And this is a very pretty rose scent it's a very sweet fresh rose perfume it, i believe it's um rose lychee and peony so it it has like you know that it, that pink girly fresh floral type of vibe like it gives you like that shampooy clean um well put together type of perfume i saw on fragrantica that they compare this one to um, a Chloe perfume. I think it's Chloe Rose. I've never smelled it. I'm very familiar with Chloe, the original, and a couple other variations of it. This one reminds me of an Urban Outfitters perfume called Rose Rich. Uh, there's something about it where it's like that lychee rose combination um, that is so popular um, recently. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of lychee. I'm not, yeah, I'm not that biggest fan of that lychee rose combination. I do love a good rose and peony uh, floral type of perfume. So I think it was probably smart that I got this little half mil, half mil bottle. Um, and this is a great size if you wanna just throw it in your purse or use it as a refresher. So, um, and this is a very, very nice perfume. And for like, $13. I bought it at Marshall's and I, I like this one. I actually prefer the Amazing Grace Nude Rose more than than this one, but I will still get my use out of it. Another one that I found at a Marshall's, which was like a complete steal. Oh no, I bought this at a TJ Maxx actually. This was the replica and this is the little tester kit, which is like quite serendipitous that I found it at a TJ Maxx because I was like talking to my friend about how oh well I know Sephora has you know the little sample set that you can buy but it's like, really expensive at the Sephora and then tell me how like two days later I was at the TJ Maxx and I find this like if that's not coincidental I don't know what is but yeah <laughs> it has lazy Sunday morning jazz club autumn vibes and by the fireplace and i am so excited to test this out i particularly i've tested 
quite a bit of these at Sephora every time I'm there. Um, I really like Lazy Sunday Morning. It's such a it's such a nice scent. Um, I don't really remember Autumn Vibes. Every time I go to the Sephora, I never see it there. But now I have the tester and I get to try out. And I think I got this one for like $50. So this one I was like really, really, really happy about. And whew, last and certainly not least, like I told you guys, I think I kind of went overboard the past couple months. Like I've been, I have been living at the stores. Um, I think it's probably because like I kind of went on a low buy for a little while. And then I was like, you know what? Finally, I'm just going to go and see what I like. And I think it kind of started off with, what kicked it off? This one. Yep, Dolce kicked off like that little shopping itch that I had been needing to scratch. But whatever, it is what it is. I'm going to use my perfumes. Um, I'm going to love my perfumes. And I'm going to share my love of my perfumes. <laughs> but anyway, last but not least, I think this is like um, one of the biggest deals that I found. I was at the Marshalls. This is my most recent purchase too. Um, and I can't wait to add this into my rotation. This is Angel by Mugler. This is the Eau de Toilette. And I bought the 100 mil. And I kept going back and forth with myself of whether or not I should even purchase a big bottle of Angel. Because I know of how like controversial the scent is. I've tested it at a Sephora every once in a while. And it is like a bold, bombastic style of perfume. And I know all of the controversy about how, you know, it's not the same as it used to be. They've changed it. They've reformulated and beaten it to death. I get it. But, you know, I still would like to try it. Um, and I got this one for $90 at a Marshalls for the 100 mil. Um, and, you know, I, I could not pass that up. And I had tested it a couple of days ago. And I really, really, really find this an interesting perfume. <laughs> I find this to be so interesting. Probably one of the most interesting perfumes out of my entire collection. This is a to say the least, this is a beautiful scent. It is a beautiful scent. It is also a very um, trying perfume. How gorgeous is that? And this is the stand-up bottle too, which is nice. You know? It is a trying scent. But I find that because this is the Eau de Toilette, I've noticed that it opens up a little fruitier than the Eau de Parfum. I've tested the Eau de Parfum before at a Sephora. This is a little fruitier. Um, it has less of that chocolatey note um, that the original Eau de Parfum has. Very, very pretty. I also find this very similar to Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. So I think that if you're the type of person like me who likes Rihanna's Rebel or Rebel Fleur, you might be the type to like Angel because I've found very, um, I find them to be very similar. Similar in scent profile. They're not dupes at all. Not at all. But there's something about the sweetness with that spiced patchouli that gives it very similar, that makes them very similar. Like distant, distant, distant cousins. Or maybe at least like Rihanna's Rebel Fleur was kind of inspired by an Angel type perfume. But yeah, that's my haul for you guys. I know this is like crazy. This is a lot of perfume to have purchased over two months. But if there's one thing that you'll come to find out about me is that I'm a little crazy and I'm obsessed with perfumes. And if you're watching this video or if you follow my channel, then you're probably the same. <laughs> And I respect you. <laughs> but yeah, by the way, um, thank you so much for like 200 subscribers. Like I was not expecting 200 people 
to actually like and watch my videos so thank you so 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 much i really really appreciate it um thanks for sticking around in all of this all all of this craziness <laughs> um you know give me a thumbs up if you like this video um comment down below tell me what you guys think if you got any words of wisdom for this crazy shopaholic definitely let me know in the comments um if you're new to my channel subscribe if you want to um i definitely appreciate it and i'll see you in my next one bye